So decoders are doing the opposite of the encoder, right? So this is a combinational circuit that converts binary information from the encoded inputs. So we have n inputs in this case to two to the n unique outputs. Let's look at a case. So this is a two to four decoder, I0, I1, and I have four outputs. Let's say output zero, one, two, and three. Right, so we have n is 2 in this case. We have an encoded signal coming in, i0, i1, and we are converting it to four unique outputs. So if I have i0, i1, if this is 0, 0, I will be making my output 0, 1, and the others 0, right? So if I have i0 is 1, i1 is 0, then I am selecting output 1, and the rest is 0. So if I have 0, 1 here, then I will have output 2 is 1, others are 0. Similarly, if I have 1 and 1 here, I will be having output 3, 1, the others are 0. So basically, we are doing the opposite of the encoder. So if I would like to write my functionality table, so this is my i1, i0, and I have 4 outputs here. If it is 0, 0, I will be selecting my output 0. 0 1 I will be selecting output 1 1 0 I will be selecting output 2 and 1 1 I will be selecting output 3 if I would like to draw this right what is output 0 output 0 is equal to I1 not I0 not so basically I have two inverters and a gate for the output 0 what is output 1 output 1 is I1 not I0 similarly you can write output 2 is equal to i1 i0 not so i0 not i1 so this is my output 2 and output 3 is equal to i1 i0 so this is my output 3 let's see one application of the decoder although we have not seen memories the most common usage of the decoder is in the memory to select one of the memory addresses so let's say i have a memory unit okay something like this and then in here I have eight locations. So this is the memory address zero. And let's say in each location I store 32 bits. Okay. And this is the location zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay. So sometimes I will be reading different information. Let's say I store a one signal A, let's say in location zero, B variable in location one, C variable in location two, D, E, F. I can store different variables in my memory, right? So this is just an example. I just make it up. Okay. So let's say sometimes I would like to read this location three. Sometimes I would like to read or write to this location. Sometimes I need to write or read from this location. So every time I might need to access different locations. So for this, what I need to do, I need to use a decoder. So in this case, I will have three lines coming in. I will have three to eight decoder and I will have eight different outputs here. Okay. So let's say this is my I2, I1, I0. Right. Based on this, this will be my address lines. Okay. This will tell me which address I am going to access and this decoder will convert it. Let's say I am trying to access memory location 3. In that case, I will be putting 1, 1, 0 here. So this is 3 and this will activate output 3. Let's say this is output 0, output 1, output 2 and 3, output 4, right? So this is output 7. So I will be enabling this line so that I will be accessing memory location 3. So the next time, let's say I am trying to access memory location 5, then I will be changing my address lines 1, 0, 1, and I will be activating this and all the others will be 0, right? But only output 5 is 1. So this will be disabled as well. Okay. So I disabled all the outputs except 5. So now this location is active so I can read or write to this location okay so this is one common usage of the 
decoder right decoders are used as address decoder in the memory so that i can select only one memory location to read or write so in the memories you can only access one location at a time of course you can have dual port memories in the dual port memories you can access two location at a time but just assume for this case we have a single port memory where we can only access one location so by using this address decoder i will be enabling only one location in my memory so let's do an example with the decoders so we need to implement a 328 decoder using a demultiplexer right we have seen this demultiplexer but now we need to implement a decoder using a demultiplexer it could be any size so let's draw our decoder first so i have a decoder here so i have three lines here let's say i2 i1 i0 and i will have eight outputs but inside i need to use a demultiplexer let's use one to eight demultiplexer so we will have eight outputs here and we have these three select lines let's say this is my select line two select line one and select line zero this is the output zero this is output seven so basically what this demultiplexer was doing just to remind you so if i have an input signal here i can connect this i to any of these outputs right but now i will be using this one to eight dmax to implement a three to eight decoder so the first thing you can do you can connect this outputs directly decoder outputs so let's say this is our output zero this is my output seven now what i can do i can connect my decoder inputs to my select lines right so i0 can be connected to s0 i1 to s1 and i2 to s2 so in the decoder what we are doing based on this decoder input decoder make one of the outputs one the selected outputs one the others zero but the demultiplexer only passes the input to the output so in this case i need to connect a one here right so this is the logic high okay so if i have zero 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 at the decoder inputs what i will be doing i will be passing this input to the output zero and output zero will be one and the others will be zero right this way i can implement any three to two decoder using a one to eight demultiplexer similarly we can change our decoder input let's say this is one one zero then in that case i am selecting output six so this is my output six so this one will go to output six and i will be making this one and all the others will be zero so this is how I can implement a 3 to 8 decoder using a 1 to 8 demultiplexer. Let's do another example. In this example, we need to implement a 3 to 8 decoder using 1 to 4 demuxes. So this is what we can do. So we can use this two 1 to 4 demuxes. So this is a 1 to 4 demux. So this is output 0, output 1, output 2 and output 3 of the decoder. And then I can have another demux here. So this will be output 4, output 5, output 6 and output 7. And another demux here I can use because I need to enable one of the two demuxes. So these are my select lines here. So and this is my demux input. And I will have three inputs for the decoder. Let's say this is my decoder. So this is i2 i1 i0 so let's try to do the connections so i will be giving a one here because i need to make one of the outputs one right so here what i can do i can connect this line to here and this out to here so i will not be using these two so i can connect zero here and i2 to here so that if i2 is 0 i will be selecting any of the i0 to i3 if i2 is 1 i will be selecting the bottom part then you can put i1 and i0 here i1 and i0 to select one of the upper or lower parts right let's say if i have 5 here 1 0 1 then what will happen i have a 1 here so that i will be passing this one to here and i will be getting a zero here right so now i have zero one and 
zero one here so i will be connecting this zero to here this output will be getting zero the others are not selected so this will be also getting zero but here i have zero and one here so this goes to here so i will be passing one here so this will be one and the remaining are not selected so they will be zero so this will be implementing a 3 to 8 decoder using 1 to 4 DMAXs.